Dr. Mupeta. Welcome once again to this discussion and uh, could you greet our members, our friends and introduce yourself. Um, thank you very much for inviting me on this program, on this platform and I welcome all our viewers out there. Right. Dr. Mpeta, I'm aware that uh, uh, ARVs, there's a new um, drug that you have introduced or that has been introduced as a new way of treating HIV now. Could you just walk us through, um, first of all, uh, how people are now eligible to be on ARVs? Who is eligible to be on ARVs before we go into the new treatments? Okay. So the, the current uh, approach to managing um, HIV is that everyone who tests HIV positive should actually be started on ARVs as soon as they get their test result positive. So it's actually everyone without uh, any consideration uh, should actually be put on antiretroviral treatment. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, um, so so there's this change to the to the HIV treatment now. What are the changes that have come? All right. So as we know, HIV is treated with a minimum of three drugs, yeah. which are normally put uh, into one pill. So mm -hmm. you take just one tablet. So the the the, the drugs that we have been using previously, mm -hmm. and a lot of people have known it as a tripler contains uh, three drugs, and the three drugs which um, were in a tripla are tenofova, uh, lamivudine, and efeverence. Now, one of the drugs, efeverence, um, has been around for some time. It uh, belongs to a certain group of um, drugs that inhibit the virus, mm -hmm. and uh, part of the, 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 the virus. Now, we are replacing efeverence in, in this Pill with a new drug called Dolutegrava. Dolutegrava okay. was just uh, actually recently introduced in the population and approved about in 2014. So it's a fairly new drug which is doing very well. The reason that we had to change uh, from efeverance to adding Dolutegrava is uh, because of the benefits that you get from Dolutegrava. For people who have experience, who have experience with efeverance, they found that they had, you know, difficulties to sleep. Sometimes they will have nightmares. Sometimes they will experience extreme dizziness, which was quite difficult for people to move on with their lives. Now, if we look at the new drug, which is um, Adolutegrava, um, has got actually less side effects. Okay, so issues of, uh, you know, getting confused or having seizures, or difficulties in sleep are not actually present in Dolutegrava. Some patients might experience, you know, like headaches here and there, or even difficulties falling asleep in the first week or so, but that actually disappears and it's a fairly well-tolerated drug. Mm -hmm. So that's number one in terms of the side effect profile. Number two is that Dolutegrava um, is one of the fastest ARVs in killing the virus. So the viral load, the, 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 the amount of virus one has in their blood is called the viral load. So the viral load is actually dropped very fast. Within six weeks, we expect the virus to get almost to zero with the new drug. Mm -hmm. So it's quite way uh, effective compared to the previous drug that we are using, okay. which is very good because we want, we are putting everyone on uh, ARVs and we want as soon as possible for them to be okay and to have the majority of the virus to be killed in their blood. Mm -hmm. So that's the second benefit of the new drug. Mm -hmm. The third benefit is that this drug does not easily stop working okay. or does not easily develop what we call resistance. Okay. So resistance is where the virus changes itself and makes the, the, the drug to fail to work effectively as it should be. Right. So this drug actually has got what we call a high barrier to resistance, mm -hmm. meaning it can't easily stop working when somebody is taking it as instructed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Um, so where, where can people access this drug now? So this drug has also been uh, delivered in all health centers that are 
providing ART. And as mm -hmm. we know now, even ART is being um, sub, um, provided up to the health post level mm -hmm. in government institutions. So mm -hmm. um, it's free of charge and you just have to speak to your health uh, care provider and tell them that you have heard of the new drug and ask them if you are eligible. Okay. All right. That's interesting. Now, um, one of the concerns is that um, when you are switching from um, efavirenz, like you've mentioned, to now Dorotagreva, are there any problems that people should expect to experience as they are moving from one this drug to the other? So basically, um, the problems are not a significant per se, like I said. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, of, of course, I said is about the side effects. Dorotagreva um, is well tolerated and very mm -hmm. few people will experience just a headache and uh, difficulties to you know find mm -hmm. sleep in the night but that is expected to win off within a week or so mm -hmm. so the, there isn't any major problems that we, we, we expect mm -hmm. and uh, this drug is readily available mm -hmm. of course we have got we are not giving it to everyone okay so we have got um, um, a certain people who qualify to be on this track. Okay, so who qualifies? Yes, number one, all men aged 10 years and above, and their weight should be at least 30 kilos, actually who qualify, provided that if they have been on ART before, and this they have taken ARVs for more than six months, mm -hmm. they should have a viral load, which is measuring the amount of a virus in their blood, and this viral load should be less than 1,000, then mm -hmm. they are eligible. Mm -hmm. Anyone, any man who has taken um, ARVs for less than six months are also eligible to be switched to the new drug. And then all those men who are testing HIV positive now going forward, which are new patients, are also eligible to be started on the new drug. Mm -hmm. Now, when it comes to females, because my one might ask, what about females? Yes, of course. So females, all those females who are above the uh, 49 years old, mm -hmm. those who are incapable of um, reproducing or mm -hmm. falling pregnant, mm -hmm. can actually be given this drug. Mm -hmm. And then uh, for some reason, there could be some uh, women mm -hmm. who, uh, for some reason or the other, have, mm -hmm. their womb, have lost their womb. Maybe in the previous pregnancy they bled a lot mm -hmm. and the, the womb was removed, are incapable of giving birth. Mm -hmm. They are also uh, eligible to be on this drug. Mm -hmm. uh, women who are also on permanent uh, contraceptive methods like those who have had their tubes tight, we don't expect them to you know, give birth. They also qualify to be on this drug. Those who are using a loop, they also qualify to be on this track. A woman who is in the reproductive uh, you know, age, age group, uh, we are advised not to give them because of some concerns that have arisen as a result of women who fall pregnant using this drug. Mm. And these concerns actually came from our neighboring country, uh, which is Botswana. They have generally not been reported anywhere else but because of the best practices that we adopt as scientists, we have to take caution and we are not giving this drug to any woman who is likely going to fall pregnant. What are those concerns in the women who are in their productive age? So the, the concern is that if a woman who um, is, um, happens to be pregnant and is on this drug, uh, from uh, the Botswana experience is that their children might be formed with some deformities of the brain and the spinal cord. Okay, yes. I see. Your, your final thoughts, Dr. Peter. So, the final thoughts is that this drug is a very good drug, it's a very potent drug, and I think we need to have the majority of the patients on it, those who are eligible. And uh, the most important thing is, if you're hearing this message, or you know somebody who is HIV positive and is on ARVs, please advise them to go to their healthcare providers, to have a viral load done, and if the viral load is less than 1,000, they will qualify to be on this drug and let them benefit the benefits of this important drug. Thank you, Dr. Mpeta. Thank you.